Hello everyone, how are you doing? Big up on yourself, wherever you're watching from. My name is Tony Areo, aka Mr. Tua, and today I have a very special guest. I have always wanted to have him on my show, and luckily enough, this particular Sunday, he is here with us. Ladies and gentlemen, I have MC Cash Owakabi with us right about now. So we're going to catch up on a lot of things. Stay there till the end of the video. There's a lot that uh, we have to share with you. Otherwise, you are most welcome to the show. How are you doing? I'm okay. Twa, twa, twa. <laughs> Group Unlimited. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's in an English. I do my best, bro. Nice to see you, man. Um, nice to see you, too. You're looking I fresh. you doing big things. We are You're growing fat. <laughs> <laughs> we are trying to be around. No, no, I'm happy for you, bro. Thank you. I'm happy for the men. You're looking you. fine as well. Ah, thank you, bro. A four year late. A four year late. You're doing a lot of great things for this industry. Me, I appreciate. I don't know how other people see, but mm. me, I think you have done a lot for this industry. And you are the kind of people who need to be supported because you don't always fail your fans, you don't fail the people who follow you, you always deliver. I'm seeing there's an event coming to Guru yeah. City yeah. on the 5th of October. You're yeah. bringing an international yeah. comedian to the city. Yeah. This is not something small. It's That's really it's something not. big. Nigeria, it's not. Northern Uganda, connect. Yeah. You even left Kampala, yeah. direct. Yeah. So tell us about the event. Uh, well, on 5th of October, we, we, we have Sabino's life in Gulu. Actually, we're starting from Ajumani, on, I mean from Marua on 4th of October. Then 5th of October, we are here in Gulu at Acholi Inn. And then uh, basically what I have to say about the show, I think I've done shows before, but this, this is, this is the biggest show I have ever done in my life. Sabino's life in Gulu. I can point, I, I can tell you, bro, Sabino's is not a comedian you can easily get. A penalty work in your ningo, Errol Sabino's is a busy person. The guy is, is you follow him on Facebook, in Errol. Over 7 million people. Every weekend in Aeronauty, come on, he's working, he's doing shows, he's doing skits. He's very busy. Actually, right now, as I talk, I think Sabino is the most demanded comedian in Africa. Leave alone the big names, man, Chuan, what we on. But Sabino is the real deal. And for me to get him to come to northern Uganda, it's, it's been a long, long, long conversation over a year. Mm. Over a year, because I think I remember last year mm. up to now until this year I'm going on a tour in London but when I'm done I'll give you attention mm. so when he got done I don't remember be chased and be a message okay, how do we do first of all Sabinos is expensive to do a show with that's why you are asking why Kalo Kampala Kalo Kwene is the kind of person who will give you his prize and you say okay Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So, getting him on, on to the track to Gulu is the biggest show, I can tell you, bro. And this show is historical. I don't think I'll have Sabinus maybe back again. Mm. The future is not known. But luckily enough, we have him here. So, I would call upon whoever loves comedy, whoever wish to see these people, Whoever wish to see the industry grow, to attend this show. In your right your gang, right your gang. Each one has to play their own part. In a line, maybe a blogger, na a charo page, a level met well. Any line, maybe a comedian, me run a TV network. Me yo mo chwin da network, me kelo jo mangi o kaku biro kai no mo charo. Do you know what it will? How many people get the message of Sabinus after Sabinus' performance here? Because he's going to perform. Bumaro Chale is going to send it on the wave. Over 7 million around the world. 
and we are going to have a small game get around. We are going to have some small tours around. We'll visit a few places here and there, just so that you can get a feel of northern Uganda. Well, if there is any other comedian next time intending to come, they can come knowing that it's a beautiful place. Mm. Yeah. So this is part of development, very, very big part of development. And you know, I keep telling people, for a city to be called a city, is not the buildings we see. Yes, contributing. But in a city, money down your full. Believe me or not, is the entertainment sector of that industry, of, of that city. Kampala no po bero so vibrant. Me na no luwe lo ba wa hotu mall Kampala. Kau ne ne entertainment bero madi. Even mm. many businessmen would not come. By the way, in ge me na do a small studies trading center moga ni ga inshiar. Kage ya bo doka ne kyan ino tu ko bero ngeja ngeja ka o cha pare no kilo. And all of a sudden no ga kero miel no la goro next month be no kenyo kafunda mo ga ya bo normo cha cha music system. Mm. So the place very busy, constant. It's the same as what I'm doing for for northern Uganda. Mm. Uh, I feel like when I bring these guys, right now you've just mentioned Kampala is asking many questions. Chaka kining, ni sabino kalo wiwa o chara chara wa gulu chara chara wa ruwa chara chara wa jumani. The question is out there. So very soon the question is going to move from okay. <laughs> Let me take a week out, I go to Guru. Hey. And every time they come, there are some of them by who have never been to Guru. I can tell you when people visit Guru, everyone has their different notes to take. People mm. will tell you Guru is amazing. Yesterday I was with some friend of mine from China. He had never come this side. Mm. And he was telling me, wow, wow, wow. Guru is almost better than Kampala, bro. I asked him, I said, what? Man, you do a tag, but the place is peaceful, no unnecessary noise. People are lovely. You move anywhere, they welcome you, they greet you. So it was so amazed, bro. So, so this is the kind of things we need to do. And also, one Machalo Pajo, I think we, we should move away from the culture of Cha when Birka blaming, hey, Kumalawani, Kain Gimaba. But we are the ones to make good things happen here. No, we have to take it upon ourselves. Fans, can when you need down there, you push your spare that money. Can you never show me a big fans get taken care of? Wow, me hey, show me the cheapest show. No fans put down me for a little bit of the town. Can't you know what they are coming on? Tell me a bear, they're playing a chilling. My baby, you pay me, she am a young, no mere will be more of me. I was saying, you are and show entertainment talent. Which is the biggest blessing? My dad went pay care. We are paying three k, five k, good more. And even still, people don't attend in large numbers. Man, I feel like we need to wake up people. We need to, we need to support the industry. One majalu stakeholders. We need to do our best to deliver to the fans. The fans, majalu, our strong all. They have to come and watch what we have to put on the table. Broke out no way. We permit on your comedy. We permit. And you know, no justification, money, but you ah, no thing to be carried away. You need a permit. You need a permit. But bro, this is top notch. Clint, the drunk confessed and said he has been to Uganda many times. But the biggest comedy show, Muyo Mutwinye, with the best audience, the best talents he has seen, will be the show Magulu. He still says it up to now. So what does that mean? We are sitting on gold. Mm, While waiting mm. for maybe someone to bring gold, we have gold here. And gold, and Angi, Ingi, the weather, easy, comedy, and Jaro Joe, bounce. Whenever they have a program, just support and see what happens. Mm. Mm. So, there's a lot of things, Matie, Katime, Industry, Kumaru, Kaima. I call upon one, Majal Kumaru, to wake up, open our minds, and see. Mm. One of the things I've Prayed for so much. Macau no poti mena abe chakote mena ane koma is to organize concerts, not shows, concerts for artists. As an artist, you need to stand tall as a brand. Kini, me have done it on the comedy show. I've organized always my comedy special. My beru girakana, fans come, they pay, I entertain them for two hours, and I leave the stage. 
It's the same blessing. Mauna America, like we are in. Kado then it has to happen. And kira do meo temeke rabi yede ba kona na temo or at least. But joker, in your Kampala, people are surviving. Artists are doing well, buying cars, land. What is because of concerts? Concerts giving our money. Better do a bitch and not performing guru. I don't know, but releasing hit, 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 hit. Then he makes one big concert. His fans come, Kinyote Mark, Chulu Chul show, Pong. The next day, the artist is showing us Range Rover on, on, on Facebook, <laughs> and we are sharing the pictures everywhere. Congratulations. Now, hey, Boroka, I know. Boroka, do, you know, <laughs> do you know why I, I don't blame Dan Charuka Million when they are coming here? Mm. They charge 10 million, 20 million. No, I don't blame those people, bro. Those people started from 100, 200,000 or so. Mm. But because of hard work and constantly learning music and comedy, music, or DJing. And let me say entertainment. entertainment. It's mm. a business, bro. Mm. It's, it's not just entertainment as it is. It's a business. You need to learn. Majal the way, pay chairman studio, park park, a wing, get it, go, be it, let go, I handle the way. No. Learn. Analyze. What does it take to be an artist? What does it take to be uh, a big brand? Okay, if I get a big song, what does it take to produce another? That's why you've seen in you know, the way tell you. You've not studied the industry. You don't know what people do to keep themselves in the industry. And then Paul Johnny, yeah, in that old cow time of fairy tower, I don't know what job. They have just not known what they entered into. <laughs> so a lot of gaps are going to be missing. Where one go now, Johnny Bino, because they have mastered the game. Mm. They're growing in the business, every business. The next time wholesale, ah, it's the same thing with music. Mm. You start more, more with one hit, you learn what is needed or who are the stakeholders of music. If I have to be successful, who do I associate myself with? What are the behaviors that the industry requires of me? You learn many times to talk about posting. There are things that I see people do. For me, it's an indication that they are just not ready for what they are in. Mm. Me, I took up a dream. I don't brag about this, but I say it openly because I took up a dream and the dream has come true. My dream was to wake up Northern Uganda, build a comedy industry in Northern Uganda, and let people understand, know, and love comedy. Seven years down the road, to where I can tell you, Gulu, we have comedy lovers. Mm. A lot of them, very corporate people. These are people that you don't even see them in other shows, New York, where you know. mm. but whenever this, actually they even put me on pressure. When are you bringing us the next comedy show? Mm. Mm. Then you go to Lira, we build comedy there. We go to Ajumani, there's comedy there. And let me tell you, by the time we are clocking 10 or 15 years, everyone will be rushing to perform in Northern Uganda. We have the best audience of comedy here. Mm, mm. Yeah. So, Which I have built based on what I want for the industry. Mm. Mm. So now, um, you've brought in a lot of international comedians uh, to Northern Uganda here. And you're specializing in comedy but don't you have other connections maybe uh with international artists as well that maybe in future after doing comedy you can also chip in with uh, uh those those concerts yeah. with big names from yeah. from africa or other parts of the world um well first of all you need not to forget my main job and my main career is i'm a comedian and whatever i do i focus mm. in the line of my career that is comedy um i have links with the comedians i have we've built friendship we are colleagues because they are in the same industry with me we work together mm. and that's why you see a lot of them i have come here many are still coming here because for us comedy is based on love bro mm. comedy mm. is, is 
is is based on love, is based on friendship, is based on comedy builds. Comedy is a family. We mawano performing, kidong the fans. We are family. Mm. It's a family that shares happiness. You come with your problem, I make you happy, you <laughs> laugh, and you go back forgetting forgetting the stress. Mm. Mm. And because of that, I think everybody uh, everybody seeks happiness. And happiness, you can only find it in a family. That's why I told you, I said, comedy is a family that mm. understands what they need, what they love. Talking about other things, I've been thinking, and you know when you have a plan, you normally draw a master plan or a root plan, how things should go for you. I told you, I said, we are seven years in comedy, well and good. I opened a company called Wakabi Establishment, and my, my vision for the company was to spearhead the entertainment of Northern Uganda, mm -hmm. which I am not rushing about it. I am very, very slow, patient, and sure about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I, don't want to make, I don't want to make a miscalculated move and things bounce, no. I'm creating partnership with people who do global shows. I have people that do shows in London, I have people that do shows in Nigeria, in other countries like Gambia, in Canada. Very soon I am starting to create a connection where we have our boys also go to perform other places. Mm. There are things I do in the background, but I'll not come in front of the camera and say, this person <laughs> going to London, I am the I'm one the who one. connected or, or recommended. No, mm. I do I do things because of your team. Mm. Yes, let the person know the cash did this for me. I have I've talked to a few people. Very soon, Dano De Chak producing way my paradida. Mm. There's a producer in Rwanda called Element. I can confirm you that I've connected and I've lined three people who've worked with him from northern Uganda. The way Dek Magoyo way Bonieri. And you'll hear the sounds. Amazing. Mm. So there, there are plans, bro. Answering that question of uh, maybe one day bringing the way. Well, I'm going to have artists. Mm. As I talk now, I'm going to have artists, those international artists. I have, I, have, I have a couple of them who are my friends. But also there are others who are not my friends. But because I understand how the business is done, We'll get them here. I think it's time to put the city in the map. It's time to also do things. Malu Kampala team. It's time to, to for our people not to continue boarding buses, negative chair blankets and wine, get it here and a wheel of quenning. I think it's time for those people to be here and our people attend from here with joy and happiness, with little stress, mm -hmm. huh? with little worries. So this December we are going to have a show. Okay. And it was not, it's not comedy. Serious so I one. guess that answers you. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a show this December. It's not comedy. Uh, it is It is one of the biggest stars we have mm. in Africa at the moment. Uh, and uh, according to my research, Gulu has been wanting him so badly. Mm. Yes, it's going to come. And then I also have an, uh, have an artist, a clue. Mm. Recently, he has been fighting with his brother over money. <laughs> so on Valentine's <laughs> Day, we are going to have an artist. <laughs> yes, take over, bro. Let's let's do this for the industry, bro. If we don't do this, no one is coming to do. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets, mama, go for Sabino Nano. Tickets are cheap. Do you yeah, still have but, the Alibad tickets, foot young wedge, and then uh, where are the selling points within Gulukan? Ah, uh, okay. Well, so the Sabino show, we, we, the tickets that we made at first got done, but we sat down with the team and we realized that we don't have to deny people opportunity to, to access the ticket as a, at a discounted price. Mm. The initial ones that we made was about 400 tickets, mm. yeah, which was meant to be strictly early bad. Mm. And beyond that, people would, would do with the normal charges that we have. Mm. So the team agreed that we added another 200, which is still running, but almost also getting sold out. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, so we have tickets at uh, 30k for those who want to get early birds. Mm. And it's ending next week. Hopefully by next week. Even if it is not ending, it will be done by then. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And um, then at the gate, after next week, the tickets will be 40,000. Mm. That is the September offer. Mm. And after 40,000, October offer is 50,000. Then we have uh, VIPs. This is a v VIP show, bro. Mm. VIP, mm. which is 100,000. But of course, when you pay VIP 100,000, you won't just sit on a chair. You also sit on a table. Mm. There are tables uh, designed for VIPs. Then we have what we call um, silver package. Silver package is um, basically for friends. Mm. Um, you carry your four friends. You sit on a table, it comes with drinks, and it comes with a VIP access to, we'll do a meet and greet. Mm. On the day of the show, it might be hard for people to take photos with Sabinus, given our route. Because we're first going to Arua doing the show, then the next day coming to Guru doing the show. It's, it's a bit hectic. So it might not have ample um, time to take photos with the fans and all that. So we're going to do a meet and greet the next day, mm. that is on Sunday. Mm. And those who've bought tickets for table and VIPs will have a free access to go sit, chat with Sabino the way we are chatting, mm. take pictures, videos, Snapchat, what so. That's the package. And then we have uh, a golden table. Golden basically as looking at uh, friends who are many, mm. eight friends. Golden accommodates eight friends, sit on the table. It comes with uh, drinks, comes with a uh, food platter for the friends. Mm. And then we have uh, platinum. Now platinum, I had wanted to call it Sabino's table. That's for the extra, extra, extra large, mm. big, big, big people. Big have, shots. Uh, yes. Mm. So you see 10 of you. The 10 of you, you have a uh, whiskey, 750 of whiskey. I don't know which one you want. Gemstone, what, what, mm. on the table. Mm. comes with some bites for you and the crew and then uh, uh soft drinks mm. and it's 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 the first table to the stage the first table whereby sabino speaks you hear first and laugh before <laughs> others <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah yeah so the tickets are running out you can pick it from Acholi inn you can pick the tickets from cinebel you can pick the tickets from vinx saloon vinx is on queens avenue opposite aar Mm. And uh, we are still opening other outlets, but we have individuals who have tickets and uh, they are available. But also for those who have my contact directly, you can DM me, you can send me a message, WhatsApp, Facebook, call directly, and I still get your tickets delivered. Mm. Yeah. So looking at comedy uh, as a business, at some point, the demand for comedy was really so low. And if you're looking at it at a business aspect, like you are doing it to make a lot of money, it was something mano inano chal no petime. Now, in the re comedy for all this time, what is this thing that has kept you going so strong up to now, regardless of how people were looking at comedy? Well, uh, first things first, my dream, my dream for the comedy itself kept me going. I never lost hope. Uh, when I was opening this comedy show, bro, my target wasn't money. Because I can tell you the first show, I had to pay everything and then got nothing. No charges, no what. Mm. I paid everything, venue, system, what. Those who came to, I had nothing to look at like money. Mirina, like I mentioned earlier, was to build an industry. Build, the word building behind it is sacrifice you sacrifice to build there was a point when the comedy made me homeless mm. for about six months i didn't have a proper home because every little money i was getting i put in comedy doesn't come back because down on the point show show to my rights but also dream my mega Tieni comedy ni premiero to keri dong tieni ni kauto I would have wasted my time I would have wasted the, the 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 dream I would have also lost big time not just the money 
Mm. So that dream has always knocked some part of my head telling me, no, go on, go on, go on, go on. Kiri tin pebe, just go on. Mm. So I made a lot of sacrifice to make sure any dream any ubino kamati here right now. It wasn't money. Kano neno na tichene ken tu akwa ngwejo. I would have left this thing, bro. <laughs> I was badly off. And mm. also the team, I the team that I work with are people who saw my vision. Gineno ni okay. Mira wati ene gini udon oe poine ni. They would sacrifice and do their part as I am also doing my part as the vision bearer. Mm. So we kept on moving along the way, small, small wins. But also another thing that kept me moving so strong is the fans. Mm. Bro, there is doing a show and people are many, okay? But they are not relating to what they have come for. But there is doing a show. Mano, you are stressing any oh show pop on yes, yes. And then you step on stage and you see the smiles on people's faces. You see the reaction on every joke you throw. Bro, that thing has kept me moving. That thing has kept me strong. There are days I get on stage when the team is telling me, don't go, you don't look okay. Your mind is not settled. Mm. The show has not worked. I'm stressed. I'm figuring out how do I pay people? How do I sort out venue? How do I... But at the end of the day, I am the host of the show. And I am the first impression that the audience get. Mm. If I get on stage looking moody, looking stressed, how, how would I expect you to wash away your stress, to forget what is bothering you? In mm. fact, my look is even going to bother you more. So before getting on stage, I always say a small prayer that Lord, please open my mind to deliver what I am meant to deliver today. Mm. And I jump on stage. And you crack the first joke, you see people are laughing. That thing is joy. Bro, there's too much joy in putting smiles on people's faces. Mm. You're solving problems that the owners have even failed to solve. come. <laughs> and seeing such a person smile and laugh again. Mm. Some of the jokes we crack are, by the way, real life, real life. Mm. You are telling someone, hey, they hear, they're relating, and they're like, wow, okay. At the end of the day, people laugh, and they're like, oh, okay. the the people laugh they're like, oh, forget stress more. Mm. There's too much love in comedy, bro. Too much. And I always urge people, take time, attend comedy show. I have friends, I have friends, I have comedy. I'm wait for music. Mm. But I fight hard to make sure, and I just drag them once. I heal me. Sometimes even I give them free tickets. I say, you come. But those are the people that turn out to be diehards because after Bilonegi Chien, they are Dao Megera. Where's your guinea car and me? And oh no, I've been missing a lot. Give me car. Did they? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why didn't you tell me before? Mm. Yeah. So that's it. But, but of course, bro, I can tell you the industry is growing. Comedy is going to represent the city. Mm. Comedy is going to make Gulu known. As I talk right now, as checking on YouTube, the contents we've been doing, we are nine eight hundred and ninety eight thousand views on YouTube, mm. meaning eight hundred and ninety eight thousand people around the world watches what happens here in Gulu. We are close to a million views. Mm. Mm. Meaning it's a big thing, bro. People don't watch useless things. No. Talking about uh, making people happy during the sh during your show, sometimes do you wish to sit in the crowd and watch MC Cash or Wakabi? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, how always catch your duty, man. No chunya meroni a bed kamo. And then make it can if I had a way. End of Pelare. So what I normally do, I try and there's that eager money immediately after performance. Mm. I rush for my phone, not me on Garmoka recording. Eh. Then I watch. It's it's nice, bro. That's why I record my show because 
sometimes I be at home on normal days mm. and I just open YouTube and I watch myself. I enjoy myself performing. Mm. Come up performing, I I click in my mind, oh, I can't have yeah, a, a bad joke in your mirror, you catch me now. That's what I do most of the time. And I don't watch only myself. My mm. love for comedy pushes me to follow a lot of comedians, my performing, Benny. So I watch their performance, how do they perform, blah, blah, blah. And I see myself and say, okay, we are, we are not too far. Mm. What is your... So now, you watch your money in me. But money that will be to No, I'm, I'm, I'm not lying. I swear upon the living God. Mm. Show men in the beach is a big, is a big, big, big show. Mm. Mm. To tell me which show has been big than <laughs> Avic Sabinus in Gulu, honestly. Mm. Which show has been big? This is the northern dream, according to me. Mm. It's the northern mm. dream. There are people who kept on demand, bring, bring Sabinus, bring this guy, Sabinus. Mr. Mm. Fanny should come to good. Bro, the guy is here, bro. Let people just let people buy just tickets. Mm. And and we hear the stories this, the next day. Now, Luwe Kono, Buberu Tiebe. Yes, I'm going to include artists. Mm. Because I also feel like I shouldn't be too mean. Mm. Team strictly comedy. I was better team strictly comedy before I was building something and I wanted pure love for comedy first. Mm. But right now it's also time that I bring the artist to tap into the audience, man. I told you this is a very different corporate and understanding audience always. Mm. So some of them don't get opportunity to come and watch Pato Lava Boy uh, at, a, uh, at a show mm. or performing at the Covenant. Well, no, they don't get it. So, but when I bring these people to the comedy, it's like I have brought you to meet them mm. and mm. also them to meet you. And business again starts from there. There's mm. a lot of them, others. You might be in a show in a Poleno, you organization. Mogo, even the normal people in it. There are people who are in the show, but mm. they don't get time to be in musical shows again. Mm. The truth is, there's a lot of things that needs to be fixed with the musical shows we do here. On a better day, I would wish to, to air out what I think needs to be done. Mm. Because part and part of the progress we wish for is we analyze mistakes and we talk about it and we ask people to change. Mm. Yes. So, so uh, to conclude, what is your last message to everyone watching? My last message is, uh, one, please be a good friend, be a good fan, be a good supporter, be a good well-wisher of Northern Uganda buy tickets, attend our shows. Not only my show. If we need your one ticket show, buy tickets. Don't even complain. Some of you complain of the ticket prices, yet you go to bars and spend way more than that. Yeah. And you, you get drunk and you are just carried to, to, to home. Yeah. Yet you would have spent that money, you get happiness in these shows, you attend the comedy. Doctors will tell you, Nikai chair comedy, not ex expanding your life, life, lifespan, you love me. Jo machungi yom giri lobo. Dano me machungi yom. For me, my calling, my calling is to make people happy, mm. and we're going to do that through comedy. So whenever here we have a comedy show, please, I beg you in the name of Christ, take your time, buy a ticket, attend the show, make a testimony to those others that have never attended, and also generally as as entertainers, as people of the industry, please let's keep pushing other. Let's not give up. Let's go strong. Let's make Northern Uganda great. Kati Timu Gimo, pay Tim Piri Kiken, Tim Piku Malo, Nini, Kati Chara performing, performing Piku Malo. Someone has to watch and say, Kumalo has talent. And also, we have many people out there who are sitting on their talent. Please, if you know you are talented, come to people who can help you. Reach out to Tua, let him sell you out. You're a comedian, reach out to me, I give you a platform to shine. No, no. Let's make the industry great together. It, let's forget about it. Right now, peace and love. If Mr. Tua wins, we are happy. If I win, we are happy. Eddie Weasel Lawyer, we are happy. Pato Lawyer, we are happy. Easy T Team Show. We are, that's the happiness we see. It's People my have joy. to grow. That's, yes, we have to grow. Mm. And all of us have to put a hand in this growth. No, no. So, me, I appreciate you, and uh, of course, 
I also keep saying time and again, and I'll still say, mm -hmm. uh, bloggers are the biggest weapon we have in northern Uganda. Some of us know we are big names, but when you check our followings on socials, you know that are called 7,000, 5,000, 4,000. But bloggers, you've built platforms that has 100,000 people. You see people like Simple Gladys, people like Ian Mr. Twa, Chad Danger Metangal. You people have, you have the magic, but put paper out of it. Can I move a mirror for you? Put it together, but do this, do this. But, but the, the, the little or the most you're doing is being recognized and is making an impact, I can tell you. Thank you. And I can motivate you that together we're reaching you go harder for the industry. Focus at dear Berry Kumalo. Jimmy Mukane get my chain chain Bereki team and focus at dear Berry Kumalo, Jimmy Kumalo. Let's treat the northern with love. Let's have northern Uganda industry at art goals. At one point, believe me or not, you might be doing it for me and you think I don't see. I see. I'm waiting for my day that the Lord has prepared for me to come and say to her, mm. I believe so many of these artists here are seeing that. Because they are not in a better position to say thank you to you. Mm. So you guys keep on doing what you're doing. The fans keep on loving the music, keep on loving comedy, keep supporting. Let's do big for the industry. 5th October, I'm calling upon each one of you Come watch Sabinus, take photos, have fun, share with your kids. Your ancestors will not be happy that you did not attend Sabinus' show. <laughs> that they waited for for so long. Why do you think you're going to pay for the show? Why do you think you're going to pay for the show? Why do you think you're going to pay for the show? Why do you think you're going Thank you so much for coming. Ah, thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs>